guys, it's Adrian here with another roleplay site review. Today I'll be reviewing Pokefalls, which is an original Pokemon site and it is on Pro Boards, which I don't get to see a lot of. Uh, it used to be really, really big back in the day, but it's sort of. Uh, the, people tend to steer away from it, which is really unfortunate because it can be a very powerful software, especially as a free forum. So, this is the the front page and as you can see nice big banner um, I don't know how I feel about the banner itself it's clearly someone has tried their absolute best with this um, it doesn't have the the slickness and the polish that we tend to see on sites and that's just a matter of getting to know your graphics editing program and practice and really finding out what you want. There's no shame in asking for graphics to be made. It can be very hard to get a graphics request picked up though. So to the person who created this banner, I absolutely commend your your having a go and and making something that that worked for you. No shame in that at all. Got a nice little information bar here. So we've got the setting. It's a New region, Lazuli, um, Gleefuls are out and about to try and sort of muck things around, all good. Those who are good can be evil and those who are evil can be good. Yes, I do love a bit of grey area. One thing I've noticed there is you need a bit of a space there between day and trust and no one is actually two words. Uh, just little tiny things that um, can really make a difference in terms of how people perceive your site. It might be just a little silly typo, but you've got people that are going to make or break their decision to join based on what they see, and they don't have you sitting there saying, well, it's just a typo, you know, I kind of, like, I, I did my best. Um, always check and double check anything that you publish as an admin because exact everything that you put out there is basically how you represent yourself. Not to stress you out or anything. <laughs> oh, interactive maps. I love interactive maps. Okay, so season, it's autumn. Yay. Everyone loves a bit of autumn. These are swarms that are currently going around. Yep. Very nice, cute. I love Pokemon. And then we've got the credits, which is nice. Rewards of the month. Generally, I wouldn't put a rewards of the month up until you've got something to fill it. But you know, it's also good to just to know that these are things that uh, people can find for themselves. Um, okay run. Oh, there we go. Mm. I'm not sure if this is working as intended. I, I can't tell. <laughs> ah, that's cool. I totally need to get me one of these. This is a really nifty idea. I like it. I like it a lot. I got distracted. Sorry. Okay, so scrolling down, I'm I love this theme. It's nice, it's clean, it's very um very much a traditional forum look, which personally I really, really like. Um You know, it's just it works. It's clean. It's simple. You can see what's going on. I, I don't really enjoy, personally, I don't really enjoy the whole forums made to not look like forums. That, that upsets me in a lot of ways. But I'm, I'm a weirdo. It's okay. Uh, another small spelling and grammar thing is announcements has an e between the c and the a, a uh, c and the m. Sorry. So you got announcements, site rules, promotions, and staff zone. When I first came across staff zone, I thought you'd accidentally left your staff area open for everyone to see, which I was a bit concerned about. 
but it turns out that it's actually something that you can use to communicate with your members. So I'd probably rename that, not so that it looks like a staff only area, but so that people understand that this is where they can go to leave notes for the staff and, and things that need moderating and all that sort of thing. Otherwise it's a little bit, okay, the staff are going to discuss what's going on, thinking that they can't be seen and heard. And actually I can see and, and I, you know, things that should be behind closed doors because we've all got staff areas, they can get a little bit cagey at times, um, where staff go to unwind after a hard day. Um, so yeah, staff zone sort of implies that that's your private staff area of the forum, not so much that it's somewhere for members to go and talk to you. So. Letters to staff tends to be a popular one, um, contact staff, something like that, that will let members know that this is where they need to go for that sort of thing. So character creation, we'll have a look in, at that in a minute. Um, you've got a lot of boards here. Um, I would probably condense this down a bit. You've got accepted OCs, NPCs, and accepted canons. I would probably put your OCs and your canons in the same forum. And then I would probably put these three into a main forum called character development and tracking. But that's just me. Um, archives, I tend to recommend go at the very bottom of a forum don't really want to look at everything that's already happened when this is where people want to be. This is where all the fun is. People want to get straight from here, okay, this is how I this is what I need to know, this is where I create my character, this is where I have some fun. Um, and then yeah, you've got a lot of forums, but there's nothing wrong with that. Anything that you can condense down a little bit and just make it a bit neater, especially in your out of character areas, it can be very worthwhile doing that too. You get nice little short introductions there to your different cities and areas and that's all very good. Um, yeah, so that's kind of, it, it looks good, what you've got looks really good. It's nice, it's clean. Um, this could probably be extended out a little bit. See how it doesn't match up with that line there. It's a silly little thing, but it makes a big difference with container, simple affiliate table. So I think all you'd need to do is, where's that coming from? Ah, it's in there. So in the div class where you've got it in your templates, I don't know how pro boards work, so I'm so sorry. You just want to take out that, and that should bring it right out to those edges. That will get it to fill your main content div, which is just, it's always a nice, neat look to have those things match up. It's silly, but it's one of them things that, I don't know. Role players can be pedantic. So I've had a look at that. Okay, so your character creation process. We've got character creation rules, OC, template. Okay. Only admins can review and accept characters kind of goes without saying in a lot of ways um, because only admins should have the permissions to do so. It's not really a rule that you need to hammer in, although being Pokemon based you do get a lot of newer role players, so perhaps perhaps it is it is quite necessary. Uh, characters, you've got an E there that shouldn't be. It might be worth having a look at this and 
accept, look, uh, assess your, um, your documentation based on your tone. So a lot of what I'm reading here is there's a lot of no, there's a lot of must, there's a lot of not. You want to spin this to be more positive. Um, so rather than saying characters may not edit their own stuff, say staff will edit your your trackers. Um, make it make it a positive thing. You know, staff staff are here to update your your trackers and whatever else it is that staff edit. Um, you know, to to keep everything consistent and. We prefer, triggering material is a really, really sort of, anything can be triggering, um, depending on a person and their, their individual experiences. Um, I find some things triggering that people look at me and go, what? Why? <laughs> um, so yeah, that that's something to keep in mind. So when you're talking about things that are triggering, it might be worth listing off the, the typical ones like uh, child abuse, um, sexual abuse, that sort of thing that you'd expect requires a content warning. Just so that people have an idea of what quote unquote triggering material is as applies to your particular board. Um, And yeah, going back to that spinning things on a positive level, um, rather than stay, saying that a character may not start with a preset team of Pokemon, instead say your characters may start with Pokemon if transferred from another of your characters. So that it's clear that, you know, you can't start with it, but you can do this. Um, just Just turn things on their head a little bit like that. Um, wait to be approved before role playing needn't either um, but also at the same time that's something that should be dealt with in your permissions it shouldn't be possible for people to post into your role play areas before they've been moved into the correct group that's just that's that's the exact accepted way of doing it and it means you don't have to write rules like that it means you don't have to come across as the angry, I don't know, overbearing admin, you do not get to post until I say so sort of thing. You don't have to say that. Um, because people literally cannot post in those areas without without being approved. Uh, do not make characters be Mary Sue's, Gary Stu's. That's not something that everyone understands. Um, and there are people in this world who, if you wrote their life story into a character application, they would be rejected on a rule, but on a rule like this, um, everyone has at least one flaw. That is always true. People have multiple flaws. They have multiple strengths. Um, I would deal with this in a case by case basis more than anything, because saying "do not make characters Mary Stu Mary Sue's Gary Stu's" kind of Again, it comes off as you are going to come down on anyone who has a particular type of character without any sort of forgiveness, really. Um, it does seem a little bit overbearing, but that's sort of, you know, it's up to you. Anything that I say through this review is only based on how I would do things and what I look for in a roleplay site. If it doesn't work with what you want to do, do not do it. Do not let me make you do anything that you are not 110% comfortable with. This is your site. If this is written how you want it to be, go for it. All I'm doing here is going through and giving you some advice based on my own experience, what works for me and what I've found to be effective as an admin. Doesn't make me right. Sometimes it just makes me lucky. So, templates, they're a bit cute. Yep, that's all good. Yep. 
nothing wrong there. So your announcements forum. No, we're in character creation, sorry. Yeah, so we're still there, okay. Now the announcements forum. Region update and updates to the rule book. I'm always really curious about people's rules. Yep. Noise and Yep, cool. Alrighty. Now we get into the good stuff. So site rules. This is this is your forum here. The Lazuli guidebook doesn't exactly communicate uh, that this is your rule book until you hover over it. I had to hover over it to get that little preview so that I could even understand what, what I was about to go into. Um, but this is your rule book here, which has the very very standard ones, respect your fellow role players, all good, keep it appropriate, yep. Um, be active is an interesting rule. Um, even if you're not particularly strict with activity, simply saying be active doesn't set your standard. Um, yeah, it kind of it's very vague. I don't, personally, I don't deal with vague very well. Um, so rather than saying simply saying something like "be active," uh, change that to you know activity checks are conducted once a month, so that people know that once a month, as it says later in that rule, they've got a chance to tell you what you know that they are active, that they are still interested, and then essentially save their accounts. Um, and I would be very wary of promising to delete things. Um, I don't delete accounts. I prefer to archive them. It means that people can come back easily if they choose to do so. And a lot of the way that I work things around is based on that principle of people should be able to come back without being stressed about it, um, but yeah, that's that's sort of where I'm at with that one. Um, but it does seem very harsh that if you've missed two consecutive ac activity checks, I do understand that that is two months. Um, you'll just be deleted. You're gone. That's it. Goodbye. That's sort of how that reads to me. Um, especially after saying that you're not the most strict with activity. So sort of set your expectations in terms of what they have to do for the activity checks to keep their characters active and all that sort of thing. Uh, number four, wait to be accepted. Again, um, this should be dealt with in your permissions. If you're not sure how to set that up, do post on RPGD to get help from any of our fellow pro boards admins as to how they organize their acceptance process for people so that they don't have, you don't have to remind them, you know, don't post in the role playing areas before your character's been accepted. Because it's, it's just one of those extra layers of things that as an admin, you don't need to worry about. And with those permissions set properly, you don't have to. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, word counts. Yep, I do love that. That that's always a really good. I like that you've sort of put in there that you know if you if you need help, reach out. Um, and yeah, again with the try to use your best spelling and grammar, always a good thing. Um, but again, if you're going to put something like that in your rules, make sure that you're triple checking all of your documentation, even if it means copying and pasting it into a spell checker. That's best way to sort of highlight the the issues with some of your some of your documentation and there's not many of them it's just little things that we sort of pick up on 
one thing that I didn't notice when I first loaded this post was that it actually keeps going. Something that I would do is have it as a single post but multiple threads so that you've got you know the the general rules and then moderated threads what they are how they how they work battling and leveling up what that is how that works etc site exclude like these could all be separate threads that people can sort of go through little bite-sized pieces um, like this because I genuinely didn't realize that it was still going when I got to the bottom of that I was like oh yeah this is a nice little rules post hang on what's all this scroll over here so yeah be aware that in most cases people don't expect a rules thread they expect a rules post um, but yeah these these can be really well done as threads in their own right and that way when someone looks down through here they can be like okay these are the things that I need to know and then this entire this entire forum becomes your guidebook if that makes sense this is a staff zone um, which yeah is where I ended up very confused <laughs> So, in terms of ease of use, get rid of that, it's pretty straightforward um, how you expect people to go through, you got face claims there, you might want to fix, oh hang on, here it goes, boom, sorry, my computer's a little bit slow here, it's a nice face claim, I like that. I like that a lot. I don't I don't use templates for my own stuff, but it can be fun. Um, let's have a look here. In your pending applications. There we go. So yeah, it's it's pretty easy to sort of find my way through and work out what I want where, where you need to go um, but yeah I would seriously look at condensing some of these down even some of these here um, just sort of create a forum that these could be sub forums of just bring it down a little bit what you've got at the moment is a lot of lines and when you're just starting out that can make things look very sparse and a little bit empty and you don't want to say the word but it can look a little bit dead so that's just something to consider but yeah I think my main points for you at this point would be to go through and spell check most of your documentation um, have a have a good look get someone else to look at it if if you're struggling because there are a few typos in there that that could be fixed um, think about your documentation and how it's been worded while you're at it um, so that you can sort of try and put a positive spin on everything always tell people what they can do and limit telling them what they can't a lot of the time you'll get away with explaining what they can do and at the same time that will inform them as to what the limitations are rather than simply saying you can't do this you say you can do this in this way um, so yeah it just just something to think about and yeah just just bring these these down a little bit so that there's not quite as much scroll but what you've got so far is is pretty fantastic and I can see that you've had a few few starts and restarts and, and a little bit of trouble along the way, but absolute best of luck. Um, I'm sure you're going to be absolutely fantastic and yeah, I hope this was helpful. If you've got any questions, um, I will be available through the thread or just ping me on Discord. I'm chill. So yeah, um, happy playing.